<laughs> we back. We are so back, yo. <laughs> so, Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter uh, 102 drafts just dropped. I've been busy with personal stuff, so this video should be coming out a little bit later or tomorrow. Depends how I edit this, but agendas are going to be tested. I've been seeing agendas being pushed for years now at this point, ever since Superhero drops. People downplaying the hell out of Gohan and people claiming this, claiming that, all this type of stuff is deaded, all right? This chapter is gonna dead all that and all the people that's been talking crazy, they're not gonna backtrack. <laughs> they're, all right, they're gonna backtrack, but they're not gonna apologize for all the stuff they've been pushing that's been baseless. But, yo, what up, guys? It's your boy, Sun TJ. How's it going, man? If you're new to the channel, make sure that like button, subscribe, and share all that YouTuber stuff. You know, I gotta say it, all right? You miss every shot you don't take. <laughs> so, we've all been looking forward to this. A possible Goku versus Gohan or Gohan versus Vegeta. You know, the, the big the big three in terms of the strongest warriors in the universe that's not named Beerus, I guess, I guess at this point. Um, oh, man, what can I even say? Because... For one, we get some confirmations so far in this preview because the chapter's not out. Hell, even the, the full spores are not out. These are the drafts. But we get confirmation that Piccolo is the one who named um, Gohan's beast form. <laughs> Piccolo, the, the, the guy who's naming all the forms right now, that is, that is interesting. And Goku asks if the beast form is like Super Saiyan 2 or Super Saiyan 3. But no, it's not that. And we get more confirmation that, of course, Gohan respects Piccolo as a master. That's not his dad. Like, man, the Team Four Star fans. And I met Team Four Star in person. But, man, y'all be y'all be riding deep for them jokes. Y'all be thinking that those jokes are real. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, man. So, pretty much, Toronto is not playing. Because, the I, you know, you think we're going to have, like, a little like, like conversation about, okay, how does the powers work, whatever. No, we're getting straight to hands, right? The chapter is titled Sun Son Goku versus Son Gohan. Now, the last time we had a fight between these two um, was in the anime where we had Goku go to Blue Kyle Ken to test out how strong Gohan was for the term of the power. And before that, um, I think the last time we had that was definitely the Hot Ball Time Chamber. But yeah, man, this is a bit a big fight I've been looking forward to. And man, I just can't wait because for almost a year, some years, some change, we have people saying, yeah, man, Go on, beast sniper stronger than Super Saiyan Blue Goku or Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Just, just, just straight up hating. <laughs> We've been having people wilded with some of these ridiculous takes of like, yeah, man, go on being stated to be the strongest guy um, by Kira Torama if he chooses to be. Yeah, that's just cat, bro. Like Gohan is weak or whatever, or using the plot and do stupidity where you have Krillin and other people f fight down Cell Max. You know, we have plenty of statements saying that that's like the most powerful fights on the planet. We're going to see how that goes down, man. Like, again, I have no dog in this race. I'm lying. These are both my favorite characters in, in Dragon Ball, and Goku's my favorite. So, like, if Goku wins, I'm not going to be mad. But, of course, it's a sparring match, not, not a death fight. But, yeah, man, this is going to be fun because either way I win. If Gohan beats Goku, then he's the strongest. I've been right. And if Goku beats Gohan, and Gohan is, like, this impressive or whatever... I was right either way, too, and Gohan, Gohan, Goku's still that guy. So yeah, I wonder if Goku's going to use true Ultra Instinct uh, or just pretty much... I think my, my way of coping with your Ultra Instinct is just, it's just pretty much their excuse to use UI sign on a consistent basis. Then when it's a big fight, use the silver hair because, you know, it's very marketable. But with this Gohan stuff, man, we're going to be definitely seeing Gohan Beast do his thing and... We're going to have some commentary towards Vegeta, because I know Vegeta's going to be like the bitch mark on like how see how strong. Uh, there's going to be Goku and Gohan's uh, like talking. This kind of reminds me of Dark Hands' like fan art, but instead it was it was not Goku versus Gohan. It was Vegeta versus Gohan. So this is kind of like a role reversal in the actual canon. Uh, you should check out Dark Hands' uh, <laughs> uh, take on Vegeta versus Gohan. That might be interesting. It might go down similar to this. Um, is it going to be like a stomp or anything like that? Highly doubt it. Like I think that at this point, Goku's been training, Vegeta's been training. Go on is like is learning. He actually knows how to do the form based off Piccolo's training, which is something interesting there to say the least. But regardless, uh, yeah, man, I'm I'm very excited for this chapter. Can't wait to see more. And I'm not gonna be able to stretch this out for eight minutes, man. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. I'm just really excited. Let me know in the comment section down below if y'all uh, who y'all think wins this fight. This is gonna be really fun. Also, I got some new merch. 
check that out. I got the Jedi. Well, well, I have to rename it because Disney got that sniper. Uh, it's called Skywalker Ranger. Got that. It's like a mix of if Star Wars met Power Rangers. And I got a new. You getting body by a YouTube a YouTube brother? I got that with Ultra Instinct and Base. So check those out, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I have a video with MJ TV that I need to I need to edit, but no, I got stuff on the way, man. Thank you for your love and patience. Real life stuff is real life stuff, but thank you guys for supporting me. Soin to peace. Love you all. Yeah,